Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee. It is so nice to meet you and this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, self-care, and homemaking. Today is going to be more of a self-care video. I'm going to share a little fall night routine. I wouldn't really call this a night routine because my nights look different every single day. But this one is going to be particularly relaxing because I have been stressed just with a lot of different things. I am always the planner for every circle that I'm in. And even if no one nominates me to be the planner, I nominate myself to plan things because it's just the role I play. It's the vibe I bring to the function, okay? So I have all these trips to plan for church. I have giveaways to plan for work. I have like all these things that have little tiny details. And I've just been really stressed because I've been getting confused on like, who am I texting? What organization are you a part of? What am I talking to you about? And I just can't keep it all in track. So today we're going to have a cozy fall night. It is currently seven o'clock on October 18th. So let's get started. Looks like my mascara is running a little. My husband is playing pickleball. He made dinner for us before he left. So I already ate dinner. So I'm going to go downstairs and First, we're going to make some Pillsbury cookies. I've been saving them for a special day. And today feels like a special day. What do you have to say to the people? <gasps> Are you so happy? Yay! You're so happy. Picking a movie was actually easy because I've been wanting to watch the new right, Little Women. The Sorry, there's an ad. And I haven't watched it yet, so we're going to watch that. Does that seem cozy? I thought so.
I finished the movie. I'm laying on the couch. And it was really good. I think because I grew up on the original Little Women movie that I like that one better. But they still did a good job. <sighs> Winston fell asleep like that. And I think it's hilarious when he falls asleep like that. But now I have a cozy ambiance going. I do want to finish my book. So let me grab it. I only have, let's see, 40 pages or 30 pages of the Pumpkin Spice Cafe left. So I'm going to read those real fast. Ignore my crazy hair from Lane and watching the movie. But let's read that real fast and I'll share what I think of the book. the book I would rate it just a three out of five stars because it's definitely classic Hallmark movie vibes which don't get me wrong I love Hallmark movie vibes and I love cheesy romance books like that but I don't think that they're like amazing stories that I'll remember forever and <laughs> recommend other people you know and also the last 50 pages were completely unnecessary there was like a lot of spicy scenes for no reason it could have just ended like at page 300 and, but instead there was more so i just skipped over those and was like get me to the end of this book because this does not seem necessary to the plot anymore so that's my opinion, but I think it's adorable. The cover is adorable. The Hallmark vibes are adorable. So I finished my book and now Alec has gotten home. So I don't know what the rest of the night will hold. Maybe Gilmore Girls, but that is my book review. The next book I'm gonna read, why don't I show you while we're here, is gonna be The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I guess is how you say that. I've heard this is a really good story, something that you would recommend to people, something that you would remember. So I'm excited. This one seems a lot shorter. It's only 288 pages. However, the text is really small compared to that one, but I am excited for this guy as my next read. Jeez, Mom, I forgot you were there. Am I pretending it's that good? We can't really pretend you're not here, Grandma. Yep. You're making me nervous here. Joe died. Christopher's father died this morning. Oh my God, how? Well, he's been sick. Very badly. He'd been diagnosed just a month ago, but it had already... Hey, unless you want to block the high road. Come on, man. Let's block the high road. Of course, one of them had Or at least some coconuts to bang you off. That's the ugliest lady I've ever seen. This is far and away the worst thing you have ever done. I am a limit with you. are not supposed to be. It is now 11.30. We watched one episode of Gilmore Girls while I crocheted. I just started crocheting. Last weekend, maybe, is when I started. My coworker crochets, so she taught me on our work trip, and I'm making myself a beanie. So I'm about halfway done with getting it around my head. Then she said after I get it fully around my head, we have to stitch it up, because it's obviously long like this. We'll stitch it up into a circle. And then we'll bunch the top and flip it inside out, if that makes sense. It doesn't really to me, but we'll see. <laughs> Something that I've loved about my 20s and just 
having cozy nights is the opportunity to do cozy hobbies whether that's reading or journaling crocheting playing animal crossing because i do that sometimes like whatever you need to do i love having cozy hobbies it just gives you something to look forward to at the end of the day you know i had a wonderful night i hope that you all enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because i love to do those for you and i will see you whenever i see you next bye guys